Hello, my name is Adson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be going through the blog module which is a module available from the .NET Nook website. So here's our test site and the first thing that I have to do is I have to go to the .NET Nook website and I have to download the blog module but before I click on download I have to log into the site to be able to do that. Okay, so I'm already logged in, so I'm going to click on Downloads, and under Downloads, I scroll down, I have the option to download uh, modules available. So just click on .NET Nook Projects, and then you can find the blog module right here. So there is the, the source package and the install package, I'm going to download the install package. It redirects you to code Plex. So I click on agree. And I will save the blog module installation uh, package. Okay, so here's the installation package. I'm just going to copy this uh, path. And I'm going to go back to my test site. I'm going to log in as host because now I need to install a module. Okay, now I have to go to hosts and module definitions. Okay, just make we have to make sure that we are in edit mode. And now we can just go to the action menu and click on install module. So now I'm gonna Enter the path that the module was downloaded to. Here's the module. Click open and click next. Okay, so now click next again. Next again. And accept the license. Hit next again. Okay, so now the installation is done. Let's just have a look if there is any errors. Nothing here, installation successful. So let's click on return. Okay, so now let's just have a look to make sure that it's here. So blog module is installed. The drop down as well, it should be here. Yep, blog module is up there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blog, uh, a page where uh, we're gonna uh, add the blog mod to it. So let's click on new. Okay, and let's call this page as blog page. I'll use this as the title as well. It will be a page that will be visible to all users. Okay, and yep, it will be included in the menu. Let's click update. Okay, so we have our new page. I'm going to just delete the default uh, HTML text module that is in the page. Okay, so one important thing to notice in the blog module is that the blog module is composed by many, many different, uh, I'll call them sub-modules, but I mean, this terminology is not official. Uh, if I select blog here, and if I add to the uh, content pane, you'll see that uh, many, many different modules will be added together. So it's a bunch of modules that, that uh, compromise the, the blog module. So let's, let's add to the page. Let's have a look. Okay. So uh, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different modules that uh, are all put together when you add 
uh, the blog module to to the page. Now, let's let's get this thing here organized. Let's let's select a couple of. Uh, uh, first of all, let's select which which modes you're gonna keep here. But let's find a, a, a better suited place for them. Actually, let's use a very popular blog in the .dot.tu community as as a reference to our own blog. So if we go to uh, .dot website, if we go to the top. Somewhere here, there is a yep, yeah, there is a blog page. So let's use that uh, more or less as a reference for the the different modules in place that we're gonna we're gonna set up our our module. So let's base it on this one. So the first thing that we notice here is that there is a search a functionality on the top uh, left corner of the of the main page. Let's do the same thing in our in our in our example. Let's go there and. Let's add the search blog. Let's add to. Let's move it to the. To the. Uh, well, actually, let's have a look at the layout. Of our page. See, let's move. The search blog to the left pane. So let's do that by just going to the pull down menu, move to, uh, left pane. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so the search is on the left pane. Okay, let's go there again. Let's have a look. Now, on, uh, below the search, we have the list of DNN blogs. So, uh, we can also, that that the list of DNN blogs is this module here called blog list. So, we can also move this to the uh, left pane. Okay, so let's just rename. Uh, well, before we rename, let's put things in the right place. So, if we go back here to the dot uh, page, below the log, the, the blog list, we have the DNN blog archive, uh, and this is the DNN blog archive. This is the blog archive here, blog archive. Let's move that to the left pane as well. Again, we're just positioning the different uh, blog modules. So it's right here. Now, what else here? Okay, in the left side. That's that's all about it. Okay, so now let's create our first blog to have a better look at this. So let's go to go back to edit mode. And here in this new blog um, module, I can just click on create my blog. So uh, just to make sure you understand that I'm logged in as host. So if I click on create my blog now, uh, this blog will be created under my user ID. So I'll be the blog owner of this blog that I'm creating right now. So here we have some basic information that we have to fill out when we are creating a new blog. I'm going to call this blog as Ederson's blog. And this is a brief description. Okay, so I can make this blog public or not. It will be public. I can set how the user uh, names will be presented. If it's just based on username, if the user is logged in, or based on the full name, I'll just keep it as the username. So let's keep going here. So uh, Twitter integration. If you want to make every post an automated uh, tweet to Twitter, so you can you can fill out this information. You can check the checkbox, put the username. But the the passwords, and you can put a, a format here. You can use a title in the URL, and the every time that you do a blog post, it will be posted in Twitter automatically. Now let's keep going here. This is the end of part one of the video walkthrough on the blog module.